What's going on YouTube? Geosan right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix your device if it's stuck in SOS mode or it's no longer powering on or it's stuck on white screen, black screen, blue screen, whatever. If the device is not powering on properly or it doesn't work as expected, you can use iMyPhone FixPo in order to repair it. Now there are two options in here, the standard mode and the advanced mode. We want to talk about that in a couple of seconds. The program itself is called iMyPhone FixPo and it has the iOS system recovery feature over here and it does support support iOS 16 as well. But it doesn't support only iOS 16, it supports iOS 15, 14 and stuff like that without problem. Supports all iOS versions and devices including the iPhone 14 models. There's also a version for macOS and for Windows and the ability to instantly enter and exit recovery mode on the device is completely free. So let's check the program out. I have connected the device over here and there are two options available in the program for repairing but there's also the reset iDevices and the enter and exit recovery recovery mode feature which is free. So if your device is not working properly and for example it's showing a black screen, white screen, whatever, you can go ahead in here and select the standard mode first. Now the standard mode works for white screen, blue screen, stuck on Apple logo, stuck in recovery mode, boot loops. Now if for some reason this doesn't work for you, your device is still not working after that, you can go with the advanced model. You can use the advanced model if you forgot the password for the screen lock or if you failed to fix your device with the standard mode. But for most people the standard mode should work. So let's definitely check it out. I'm gonna go in here, standard mode, press next with the device connected and the program will fetch automatically the latest version for this device. And yes, for the devices that cannot run 16, the 15.7.2 is the last firmware. So yes, it detected automatically the iPod Touch 7 generation and the proper firmware. So I'm gonna press download in here and it's gonna download the proper firmware for your device automatically. You don't have to do anything, you just have to wait. So I'm gonna be right back once it finishes the download process. Process. All right, so at this point the download has completed and the firmware is being verified to ensure that it's not wrong, it's not broken and it hasn't corrupted during the download because if you try to restore a corrupted firmware it will break the device even further. So the program ensures that it actually will restore a proper firmware. This can take a couple of minutes to do but it's a good step because it ensures the download was not corrupted. All right, so after the verification step you can see it's the extracting step which extracts the IPSW file the iOS firmware into a proper usable format. So this will take a couple of minutes and after that the actual restore will begin. You can see it says start the fix device. It detected the device, the firmware version, so we just have to press start. So the next step would be to put the device in recovery or DFU mode. In here you have a couple of devices and there are different guides. So for example if you have iPhone 8 or new you're going to have this guide over here. For iPhone 7 and 7 plus it's this one over here and for any other device is this guide. If you have an iPad or iPod Touch or Apple TV, you can change the guide accordingly. So in my case it's going to be an iPod and it's the iPod Touch 7 in there. So I'm going to follow the guide that they provide. You just have to follow the instructions on the screen for your device. Alright, so as you can see the device has been detected and at this point the restore process has begun. And the program will try to fix the device using the newly downloaded firmware. So it says in here, please keep your device connected and don't use your device in order to avoid it being bricked. So just don't touch your device, don't disconnect it and leave the device plugged in until this completes. Alright, so at this point as you can see it says the program has successfully fixed your device. Wait for a short time, your device will start soon and we can press done. So at this point the device will still show the progress bar for a while but after that it will restart and it will basically allow you to configure it once again. So we're gonna wait for that to complete. Alright, so as you can see after a while I can use the device again. Remember that the standard method that we used over here will not remove everything from your device. Only the advanced method deletes everything. The standard one will try to preserve your data and it will just update to the latest version. The advanced one will erase and restore. So that's why it's best to use standard mode first. So yeah, as you can see right now on the software update, we do have 15.7.2. So yeah, that's basically it. That's how you fix your device with FixPo. Definitely check it out in the link below. There's a free trial available for both Windows and Mac OS. Till the next time, peace out.